Good morning, day two, B-Sides Las Vegas. Congratulations to all of you for making it back into the conference after last night. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody's remembering to drink their water, although you're probably not the ones I have to talk to about that, but keep drinking all day. Hopefully some water mixed in there. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, a couple of uh, minor announcements. So uh, <clears throat> reminder to everybody, so we've got the, uh, the Sky Talks lines this year, which are new, right? Um, off in the, the corridor on the side of the uh, breaking ground here. Uh, the lines are long, but they move really quickly once, you know, once they open from the, uh, the moment that the, uh, the tokens are distributed for the next sessions. Um, if you're not familiar with that, we have Sky Talks over in the Platinum Building this year, up on the, the penthouse. And uh, you can get a token here that allows you access to a, a particular session. There's a series of them through the day, and there'll be a variable number of talks within a particular session. So if you look on the schedule, every one of those talks tells you what session you would need access to. You can go and get in line over here when the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the tokens for that session are being released, if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, that said, uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for continuing to mask. Uh, and I know it's, it's not fun, but uh, we really appreciate what you're doing for the folks who need that. And uh, I think that's it is ter in terms of things that we need everybody to be aware of. So uh, while our esteemed uh, guest is getting ready. I'll talk a little about this. Is we have with us today um, Professor Andrea Matwishin from uh, University of Pennsylvania and Penn State. Penn State. Excuse me. I yep. You're, I used to teach at yeah, UPenn, okay, so okay. you're not wrong. She's, but it's it's somewhere in that Eastern Penn I've sort done, of. Yeah. I've done <laughs> Northeastern, Northwestern <laughs> Penn, Penn State. Uh, she she is a uh, very. Uh, illustrious uh, set of credentials, but she's also a, a professor uh, both of engineering and of law and has spent a lot of her career looking at the intersection between the two and the policy between the two uh, and, and how we can be more effective in how we think about regulating and um, you know, governing our use of technology. Uh, this is all, as you might imagine, very relevant in, in light of some of the things that we've seen in the last uh, course of this year uh, around uh, you know, safety and uh, uh, serious, you know, human and, and financial impacts resulting from our uh, use of technology. Uh, so she's going to be talking a bit about how we can take a look with a through a, a, a safety lens, uh, sort of the, the traditional policy frameworks that we've used in areas where life and and you know critical safety are important and uh, what that might look like so that we could have a, a, a more effective next couple of decades than what we've seen in the last you know, 20 years of, of technology and, and uh, some of the outcomes that we've seen there for safe, safety and security. So uh, I'm gonna stop talking about it. We'll give her a couple, you know, a couple of minutes while they're working on the- Because of course, in yeah. the live version, yes. it's not gonna work the way it did. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I think something very relevant for uh, the moment and uh, something that could have some significant impact uh, and start a, a very good conversation about how we should be thinking about these incidents and how we get out of uh, the game that we have now uh, around uh, underinvestment in security and safety and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of externalization of uh, some of the risks that are involved there. So. Uh, and in, with that, I'll uh, turn off the mic for a second and uh, we'll get going as soon as this uh, AV stuff is sorted out.